Okay, today I will show you how to modify the curve values of the LiveLink Apple AR Kit at runtime while you record. Okay, to make sure that we can see the changes that we make in this video, we want to connect our iPhone to Unreal and have the LiveLink app open. Okay, so find the LiveLink pose within the Anim graph and select it. And we want to go to the retarget asset. So if you followed along my tutorials, you might have a retarget asset in here that you've already created. And if you do, open it up. And you're able to add another function, another, another over overridable function, remap curve elements. And you can create that within the remap asset you've already created. Or if you've, you're using the default one, go to blueprint class. And then create a new one, a remap live link remap asset. Okay, so search for remap and select live link remap asset. And then choose select and rename that whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name it new remap asset RA for remap asset. And okay, and if you just created a new one, we want to go to the animation blueprint and select the live link pose node and change the retarget asset to the one we just created. So select the retarget asset and go choose new retarget asset, RA. Okay, and then we'll open it up and we'll go to functions and we want to create, select one of the overridable ones, remap curve elements. Okay, this is a function that they have created already for us. All right, and these curve maps that this function is using are the exact same kind of morph targets that we've used in other videos. Okay, it's a map of names and and floats okay so right click and find the curve items this is a local variable for this function named the curve items so right click and search for that and then we'll pull off of that and find keys and the keys is the array of names for the morph targets mouth funnel i look in left brow up okay and so we're pulling off of this array and we're for doing a for each loop okay so for every name in this map we want to find a value right and so let's duplicate this curve items and we'll pull out this and we'll search for values okay so a map is two arrays that are linked together okay so for every name every key there is a value okay and they share the same index okay so for every name we want to get that index because then we can pull off of this value and we can get a copy of this array and then we can plug in the index from the for each loop of the name so we can get jaw open index okay and now we're grabbing the value of jaw open okay and now what we want to do is we want to check if we're using jaw open because if we are we want to increase the strength of it in my case i want to create a strength modifier that will create, you know, just make it a little bit more visible. So I'm going to say 0.1 because if the value of jaw is greater than 0.1, most likely it's being used. And if it's being used, I want to increase the strength. Okay. So if I'm going to do that, then I want to add. So the add to increase the strength for this morph target for this key, I want to add to it. All right. Well, copy that curve items we'll plug it in there and so if this name already exists in this map when you add to it it's just going to modify the value rather than add a new name with that value okay it's just going to replace the value of the name that's already in there so let's pull off of this float value for this morph target and let's multiply it by a, a strength modifier i'm just going to use 1.2 Okay, and then we're going to drag that and put it right into the add, and now you've modified it. Okay, and so we'll just go from the front again. Okay, we're starting the function. We're grabbing the curve items. We're getting the values of those curve items, and we're getting a copy. We're getting the keys of the curve items, which are the names, and we're doing a for each loop for each name. And we're getting the index of each name, and we're getting the value of that index at, for that name and we're seeing if it's being used and if it is being used we're going to multiply that value by 1.2 to increase the strength and we're going to plug it into the add okay and if it's not being used and if it's false we're going to do nothing
Let's see if it works. Let's let's see. Okay, if it's not being used, if it's zero, let's multiply it by 500. Let's see some crazy value to see if it's working. Okay, and it's not. It's not working because we have to close the animation blueprint first and then reopen it and then it will be working. Okay, and now you have your very own Cronenberg monster. All right, so now you, you know, if you want a demon, you can do that. All right, or you can just change it back to zero to see if it's working and then it's back to normal. Okay, so let's just go ahead and replay those, ask, uh, those values I had in. 0.1 to see if it's working, if it's being used, and if it is, let's multiply it by 1.2 to increase the strength a little bit. All right, and this will give you an idea, just to show you, you know, it's it's much more visible in my case, okay? It's much more, uh, the enunciation is more clear. Okay, so you saw motor functions. All right, so thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Take care.